everyone. Welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. I did a video a while ago on finances, and I've done similar videos to this one about you need to buy, not, and how to stop questing, and I'll link all those below or else in the cards somewhere around there. <laughs> but today I wanted to talk to you about how to stop impulse buying. If you've ever walked into a shop, I did the other day with a girlfriend, I didn't need anything. We were going for lunch, and I went in there with her. And I thought, oh, isn't this cute? And it's not anything I would normally buy. It was on sale. It wasn't that much money. I had all these reasons of justifying it. And I'm like, oh, talk about an impulse buy. You weren't even going to come in the store. I think that we're subjected to that even more because of YouTube. And a lot of us have way too much, whether that's makeup, clothes, shoes, purses, or other things. So I wanted to talk to you today about five, six things on impulse buying. So the very first thing I would think is, do you have similar items? So if you're thinking of buying something, have you really thought it through? If it's an eyeshadow palette, have you swatched to see if you have similar eyeshadow palettes? If it's a dress, do you have similar dresses or is this a unique piece that would definitely complement and add to your wardrobe? Maybe you don't have a pair of black slacks. If you have five pair of black slacks, why are you buying another one? Is there something that you have that's similar? So that would be the first thing that I would ask myself. The second thing is harder to determine. Is it a need or a want? We pretty much have everything we need, <laughs> and in this society, pretty much most things are wants other than food, but I think that there's times when it's truly not thought through, and for that reason, I would recommend that you think on it. Don't impulse buy. Put it in through your cart. For myself at the store, I thought, you know what? I can come back if I really want it. And by the end of lunch, I knew I didn't want it. It was not necessary, and it might not even have been something that I would have used. So it would have just cluttered up my home. So really give it a thought of, do you need or want it? And if it's a want, is it justifiable for you? The third thing is, why do you want it? Do you want it because everybody on YouTube says it's the latest and greatest thing? Or do you want it because you do not have anything similar to that or you've run out of a concealer and you've done your research and this is the one you want to try? Think it through of why you want it. If everybody has it, it can be hard to resist that. I have friends from other countries and I love being around them because they do not buy into the commercialism the way that we do. And it's so refreshing to be around people who think it's crazy to spend all that money and it rubs off on you whatever you're around. So think about why do I want this item? If you've gone through all those steps and you really want it, I would suggest can you find it for less money? The first thing I always do is go out and look on eBay. eBay has amazing so many things. Yes, there is products like makeup that is probably inferior quality that is a dupe that isn't the same thing, but with earrings, with clothes, with so many things, I would challenge you that you could probably find it cheaper. And even if it's not eBay, have you done your research online? Is Amazon the cheapest? Does somewhere local have a sale like a Target or a Walmart? Look around and see if you can save money. And then finally, before you spend the money, I would also challenge you to think, what can I do with this money? Are you saving for retirement? Do you need that eyeshadow palette? And maybe you think, okay, in the scheme of things, what's the $50 eyeshadow palette towards my retirement when I need thousands, hundreds of thousands, you know, whatever your goal is, it all adds up. And it all takes you down a slippery slope that detracts from whatever your goal is. So really be clear on what your financial goals are. If that's paying off your house, paying off your car, paying off your school loans, putting your child through school, saving for your retirement, whatever it is, is the item you're considering really worth it? I think that those five steps really will help you sanity check and think about 
what is the purpose of your buying, especially in this age of simplifying and trying to appreciate what we have, more means less enjoyment because you already have too much and you aren't able to enjoy the things that you have. Those are my thoughts on this. Also, I would strongly recommend surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Again, our Facebook page is fabulous. I love the support of that community. Thank you for watching. And as always, I look forward to the dialogue below. Share your thoughts on this of how to avoid impulse buying and stay on track towards your financial goals. I hope you have a fabulous day and we'll talk to you next time.